Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a new suite of products that's in the new mini catalog. Um, this is what the mini catalog looks like. Super cute. It will start this January and it goes through June. So fun. I can't wait to show you the inside of this catalog. So I can't quite show you the inside of this catalog yet. It doesn't start until January, so that's a few weeks away still. But if you look on the front of the catalog, this is the suite of products that I'm excited to show you today. It's called the Fine Art Floral Suite, and it is so pretty. It has gold and lots of colors, and it's just perfect for spring, which we will be coming to. You can see on the back too, you can see some of the colors that are in it and some of the paper that's in it. So super fun. I'm very, very excited about this suite of products. I can show you the actual products on the camera. So let me pull those in. We have the paper, of course. So we have used this paper. So I'm actually missing a whole sheet of it, but you'll get the idea of how pretty it is. So this is the side that has kind of that florally look and I love how it's kind of very artistic like it has these painted flowers. Oh so pretty. And the other side is more brush strokey abstract you know so it only has one color on it or just a couple colors. It's so pretty. I love the colors and I love the florals. So much fun. Okay next there's another paper, or not really paper, this is um, the Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate. So it's acetate paper, but it has this gold foil. Let me get that out really quick. It has this gold foil going throughout it. It's so pretty. So there's three different sheets of that that come, three different designs. This one you can see sure how well you can see but it kind of is a big design those pretty florals love it so let me show you the stamp set and dies the bundle so here's the stamp set it's called art gallery it has these very artistic two-step stamping flowers in it so cute and then it also has this die set that you can um, bundle with it. And it has the flowers and the stem, some cute frames that you can cut out the sayings with. It also has this really cute saying in it that you can cut out. It says, just want to say, and then you can add in all the I miss you, congratulations, happy birthday, good luck. And it makes super cute cards. So that's fun. It comes with this beautiful ribbon. You can see that gold threading all throughout that ribbon. So pretty. My very favorite part of this suite is the gilded leafing that comes. Okay, so it also comes with heat and stick powder, which you use the gilding with the gilded leafing. Let me show you. I actually put mine in this Tupperware instead just to kind of have a bigger space to work with. You have to be really careful with this stuff because it will go everywhere. But look how pretty. Oh my goodness. It is just so gorgeous. It's very delicate and very fine, but this has been one of my favorite, favorite products probably ever that Stampin' Up! has come out with. So I'm very excited to show this product with you which is what I'm going to show you today. So I want to show you how to use this. I'm going to start with a crumb cake card front. So this is just a five and a quarter by four piece of crumb cake paper. I have already stamped this larger flower image all over in um, Mary Merlot on the, on my card front. And then I'm going to take the two step image that can kind of overlay over that flower and I'm going to stamp it in verse mark over each of those flowers. So I'll do that really quick. Get that all inked up. And I'm going to do it on every single one 
of these flowers here on the front. Now these line up super nicely. This is more of a, an abstract look, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You really won't be able to tell if it's not lined up absolutely perfectly on there. So don't worry too much. I'm not going to. And then I gotta do my little ones off to the side here, just like that. Okay. Okay, and my next step, I'm going to take the heat and stick powder. And this is just kind of like embossing powder. I'm just gonna pour it all over my card so that the Versa mark, it'll stick to that and pick it up. So I'm just going to pour that off of there. Just kind of tap, tap, tap it. And then I'm going to heat emboss this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my heat tool and we are going to emboss this. Okay, as you can see, as I embossed that, it, um, cl it turned clear, which made me know it's done. And you wanna move kinda quickly here while it's still warm and get it into your gold leafing. Now I just plopped mine right down in there. That's why I liked putting it in this bigger Tupperware. And you're gonna kind of think I'm crazy right off the bat because look how much it picks up. <laughs> so you can kind of take off some of the bigger pieces and throw them back down in there. But let me show you how I'm gonna go about getting that leafing all on there. I'm just gonna take a Stampin' sponge and I'm just going to rub it all around on those places that I put the heat and stick. Okay, and you can see where it's starting to stick, just like that, so cool. Okay, I think I got it all. So let me move this out. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna tap it off. Whoop, this stuff is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and it will go everywhere, but it is so pretty on your card. So, and you can see that pretty gold leafing on there just makes such a pretty background for that card. Love it. So let me show you the finished card using this product. Here you have, I just added a little circle punch down here and some of the acetate some of that beautiful ribbon and best wishes. I thought this would make a, a really pretty like wedding card. So loved that. Let me show you just a few other ideas I have come up with using this suite of products. Here's one. I used a big piece of the acetate with some of the DSP behind there and then a little bit of the leafing right there. So cute. You are lovely. And one more. This one I used the just want to say die and then just want to say sorry. And you can see I used on the DSP back here, I stamped directly onto it and did the gold leafing there. You can kind of see back there. So pretty. I love it. So I've had so much fun playing with this product. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I did put it somewhere other than just on my cards. Do you see my nails? Is that not so fun? You can do it on your nails too. I was trying to think of other ways that I could use this and the thought came to me when I first did this, I had gotten a little bit of Versamark on my nail and it stuck to my nail and I thought, huh, that's kind of cool. So I went home, painted my nails and put it on there and it was super cute. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do that next week. So make sure you tune in and you can see me and Beth next week and I'm going to show you how to do the gilded leafing on fingernails. I've had so much fun playing with this fine art floral suite and I hope that you do too. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.